Amen. 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 Help us to go. 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 I want to know you. Eternally, 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 I want to know you more eternally, oh Lord, eternally, eternally, I want to know you more eternally, Lord. Oh, Lord, I want to know you more eternally. Eternally, I want to see you. I want to see you more eternally. Eternally. Eternally, I want to know you. I want to know you more eternally. Oh, eternally, eternally. I want to know you more eternally. Eternally, eternally. I want to see you more eternally. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Here we are before you again, O oh Father of light, O oh God of all spirit, God of all flesh. We ask that you help us this night, supply unto us your grace and your strength, quicken our feeble body, strengthen our soul, grant unto us your light and your revelation. Let every iota of the infirmity of darkness be broken away. And as we make contact to heaven, let your reality be transferred into our spirit. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Have your seat briefly. In the next 15 minutes, rise up again and begin to pray. From the very best day of the program, the wind of revival has been blowing. The wind of revival blew and took away everything that does not look like God in our life. Bringing us to a point of conformity in God. Anytime you see God walking in religion is because some people choose not to just be normal Christians. Because there are people that are desperate enough and do not want their land to remain the way it is. I want to bring you an understanding to a mystery are called a man helped by God a man that herald revival within this region is a man that God has helped it is impossible for any man to do anything in the kingdom if God did not help him I have realized a long time ago that until God help a man, a man can never help himself a long time ago the Lord told me Philip Cephas if I do not help you, you cannot help yourself. The best of you is nothing. When was the last time you look at yourself in the mirror? 
when you are naked you discover there is nothing too good about yourself when you remove all the fine clothes all the fine hair and all the fine pancake you discover you are nothing but a mortal vessel you are nothing but dust I realize even a madman that look useless when you decorate him very well he will look good to be acted upon in the movies I want you to know that your life is useless without the decoration of God when God wants to help a man he decorates a man with the substance of reality when God wants to help a man he attached upon the man his glory his power his strength he put upon the man an emblem of his covering the signature of the name of God is upon the life of the man that is why any man you see that bear relevance in the kingdom are men that God changed their name from Abraham to Abraham sorry from Abraham to Abraham right from Sarah to Sarah from Jacob to Israel anytime God wants to do business with a man he changed his name the reason why God changed the names of men is so that he can put his emblem upon them when you go to Babalao to collect some charms so that you can be healed Babalao will heal you of cancer and put HIV on you he will heal you of headache and put stomach ache so that he will need the deposit of his signature you make withdrawal from the bank you must be able to sign that you withdraw 10,000 there when God intended to work with a man he helped him and one of the ways God helped a man is to put his signature in the life of a man I realized a long time ago that a man helped by God is always better than a man that tried to help himself. I have seen a lot of people try to help themselves in the Christianity today. They are suffering. You can never help yourself sufficiently well. Come to the end of yourself so that God can help you. You have to allow God to deal with you, my friends. I don't know about you, but you cannot choose a good husband. No, allow God to choose it for you. You cannot choose a good school allow god to choose it for you you cannot choose a good job allow god to choose it for you you need to be a woman and a man that god has to help the revival upon your land can only be sustained if god can continually help you every man survived to the degree to which god help him the day god cannot help you you will die i realize in scripture every king as of that time has a prophet attached to him the reason why they attach a prophet is so that he can receive help from god he can listen to what god is saying through the prophet and abide by it the day the king refused to hear the prophet he backslide and he died the same thing in your land when the king of your land refused to hear the dipia refused to hear the priest there is every chance that the gods will be angry with the king and the gods may demand the sacrifice of seven virgins why any disobedience to the spirit of the land comes with consequences when a man subscribes to god you must allow god to begin to orchestrate your life you must allow god to begin to edit your life all your plans must be reported back to god he has to correct them and he did them again when was the last time god collected your plans you don't want God to edit your life and you want your life to prosper. You are a joker. When you put God out of your life, the devil will be inside. A man God help is always better. Allow God to come into your plans. Anything you want to do, bring God inside. Say, come, let us reason together. Come, let us reason together. I know you want to do something, you have calculated your plans very good. God will scatter the plan and he plan it again for you do not cry his plans for you are plans of good they are not plans of evil they are to bring you to an expected end a lot of times the reason why we fail is because our plans are our own self they are not the plans of god a good plan is not good enough it is not a god plan god idea is better than a good idea men that hera revival are men that god has helped and for God to help a man, he must edit everything about the man. He starts from your name. He will edit your name. Edit your lineage. Many of you, the many of your Igbo have tried. Many of Igbo names has chuku chuku in them. Go to some other clan and see. They give a man named Stone. 
some they give them name snake some they give them name all kinds of stupid things when god appeared to you he will remove those names in your life he will tell you don't have to bear that name in the spirit because that name is not known names are reality you become like everything you have been spoken about every day for the past 25 years they are calling you snake snake why will you not become snake one day they call you mumu mumu why will you not become mumu you will become because your name is a prophecy of who you are when god intend to change the life of jacob he changed his name to israel i will make you a father of nations like abraham if your name is useless you will become useless god have to begin to help you by changing your name change everything concerning you men that god help are men that god look upon their life and discover that their life moves in jeopardy the revival upon your life can never be sustained the revival upon your land also can never be sustained until god help you there was a man that was helped by god in scripture called king uzziah if you read the book of isaiah very well isaiah said in the year that king uzziah died i Isaiah saw the law but have you tried to find out who is king uzziah king uzziah was a very obedient king unto the law king uzziah was one of those kings that god helped god helped him marvelously well but after god helped him he was a very weak man he was nothing like you now but when god felt there is a need for a man to rise in Imuzike, he now took you and sent you to the united states of america after 10 years you came back with billions but you began to use your billions for wickedness for atrocity and perversion king uzziah was a man that god helped he was not qualified to be a king god stretched forth his hand towards him and help him and make him strong make him become a king but after he was helped he became proud and arrogant and he decided to do the things that was not appointed to him he broke the ranks of god he went to the temple to offer sacrifice which was not his lord and portion he was supposed to remain in the palace to deliberate he said today i want to enter the temple and offer sacrifice he was warned by many priests according to scripture it said many priests in their hundred they withstood him say oh king is not your lord and portion this is what is given to all the sons of levi the sons of Aaron, to keep to the ordinances of god King Uzziah said, No, who is the Lord God of heaven? Am I not God enough? He's decided to enter into the temple with incense altar. He went there to offer incense unto the Lord. And the Lord felt that if I have helped a man go up, I can help him go down. The Lord struck him dead. That was how King Uzziah died. At that time, before as Isaiah could come as part of the priest, he came. And discover that King Uzziah died in the temple. But at that moment, the death of Uzziah part a veil. And Isaiah saw the Lord again. And discover how much a faith prophet he was. How much a false prophet he was. Isaiah had been prophesying from chapter 1 to almost chapter 6. How people are wicked, they are bad. How the people of the land are living in carnality. You never know he's a man of unclean lips also when the lord appeared to judge when the lord judged king Uzziah, isaiah was the next to the judge, and he cried for help and the lord had to purify him again the lord set upon him made seraphs to take coals of fire and purify his lips again that his utterances can become divine if isaiah was not helped by god at that day he will die like the way Uzziah died. The reason was simply because Isaiah was helped by God. From that very moment, he began to see all kinds of vision. That was when he saw the Lord told him, Take a scroll right on it about Mahashala Ashba and take it to the prophetess. Let her know that she will conceive and give birth to a son. And before the captivity, before the son can say, My father, my mother, the captivity of Israel will be torn as they are Syrian and have taken them captive. What I need you to understand if God does not help you, you will die a cheap death. Do you realize 
that Mary was just a woman that was helped by God. When the angel appeared to Mary, she hailed Mary full of grace. The Lord is with thee. You are highly favored. People are favored normally. You, you are highly. That is something that God is interested in. You can be highly favored. When a man is highly favored, it's because God decided to help the man. So even in her ignorance, she could not understand how she can give birth to a child. How can this thing be? No problem. Don't ask how. Said the spirit of the Lord shall come upon thee. And the power of the Lord shall overshadow you. And you shall conceive and be known to be with a child. That is a lady that was helped by God. How can the power of God come upon you and you will conceive? It's the power of her being helped by God. The same thing happened to Zachariah. He was a normal priest offering normal sacrifice. He was at the temple. His wife Elizabeth had been known to be buried. Any womb that God closed is because it contained the destiny of nation. I don't know about the children of Penina. She gave birth to many children. But we know of the son of Hannah. It looked as though her womb was closed but Samuel was hidden within. And there could never have been David without Samuel. There would never have been Saul without Samuel. When the Lord locked the womb of Hannah, it was because he wanted a woman that can travel. The Lord wanted an intercessor. And there was no one. He reached to the womb and he locked it. He knew that challenge would bring her to God. So when Shiloh program was over, Hannah remained praying in the temple. It was not normal for anybody to remain in the temple praying because they come to worship at an hour of prayer. In the book of John chapter 4, the woman told Jesus that we worship in the temple here. You guys say we must go to Jerusalem. But there is an hour where we need to worship. Jesus said a time is going to come. When true worshipers will worship in spirit and in truth. Hannah came to a point where she lived the hour of worship to begin to worship in spirit and in truth. She touched the essence of spirit reality. And part of the reality was the possibility of being able to break barrenness. When you begin to pray, God will begin to help you. And when God begins to help you, you will begin to touch the substance of reality that are not apportioned to normal men within your tribe and your clan. Revival is when men encounter God and they walk with God. Revival is when men are helped by God on consistent basis. Your life, are you the one leading your life or is God that is leading you? You are not yet revived. Penina gave birth to a lot of children. Maybe some of our children are unbrobbers. Maybe some of our children are thieves in Israel. But we saw one son that Hannah gave birth to who became a king. He became a prophet. He became a priest. There was nothing limited to Samuel. A man that can make king is a kingmaker. And he's greater than king himself. No king can be ordained in Israel without the ointment or ordination of Samuel. That's a son that Hannah should be proud of. No matter the dexterity of the prayers you have to pray, that son is worth all our days of time. The Lord may demand you to fast and to pray. Don't worry. The Bible says for the glory that was set ahead of us, we have to enjoy the cross. There is nothing precious that is better just like that. When you see how children are better, forget the celebration that people come to dance. Only the woman knows the pain she went through. You need to be helped by God, my friends. Zachariah has to be helped by God when the angel appeared to him and let him know that his wife will be given will give birth to a child. Zachariah could not understand. I don't know why the angel struck Mary, struck Zachariah and left Mary. Because both of them asked the same question. Many people say Zachariah asked his own in doubt. Well, whatever it is, I knew 
that when God chooses to love somebody, even if the person breaks protocol, no problem. Say, Jacob, I love Esau. I hate. You cannot ask God why he loved this one. Why he hate this one. And if you can come to a point where God loves you, if you lie, choose to die today, you can't die. Because God loves you to kill you. He won't. If you lie, but slide, God will bring you back. When God loves a man, God begins to help the man. Men that God help are men that God loves. Many of you don't understand. This is not the lot and portion of everyone. You begin the journey by praying in grace to come to a point where God can love you. I know God loves me and I know I can't die anyhow. Why? Because God loves me, you continue to help me. Can you allow God to help you? One of the only ways you can become a man that can herald revival in a region is when you are a man that God has helped. How does God help men? How does God help men? God help men by the supply of his spirit. When God wants to help a man, he supplies his spirit upon him. The same way the spirit of God came upon Mary, the same way the spirit of God came upon Sa Samuel, came upon Hannah, came upon Zachariah. Check anyone in scripture that God has ever helped. The spirit came upon them. They may never be qualified to do anything, but the spirit came and qualified them. The apostles were normal men. Many of them were more carnal than you. Jesus took, choose a thief, choose a tax collector, choose a doubter, choose all kinds of men. Mary Magdalene that was cooking, to, cooking for him, the Bible says seven demons were casted out of her. Will you want somebody that have seven demons to cook your food? But the Bible said, why they dwell with him? He was able to help them by the supply of the spirit. Jesus Christ himself can do nothing except by the spirit of God. He couldn't have done anything in his life until the day the spirit came upon him. Before the spirit led him to the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, then he began to manifest the power of God. While he was a young man, he was a good guy. Everybody clapped for him for how much more he knew the scriptures. That was not too good. The Bible said it took time. A time came that the Spirit of God came upon him and he began to do the wonders of God. Why? Because God helped him. The Bible is speaking in the book of Hebrews 7. He said, even in the days of his flesh, after he has offered all kinds of sacrifice, all kinds of prayer, it was hard in that he feared God. Why do you think Jesus had to pray the way he prayed? He was a man that need God to help him. Although he was God. As long as you wear the clothing of this dead mortality, you must require the help of God. Many of you are the way you are because God did not help you. If you go to the book of Acts 10, 38. When Peter came to the house of Cornelius, he began to narrate the story of Jesus. He said, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. It means I don't know how God will do it, but how God can anoint you with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then you can go and begin to do wonders. We don't know how. Jesus Christ was a normal man. He was a normal son that was given birth to. Only Mary and some few knew that God was with this guy. In the land, they look at him as the son of the carpenter. That was why everybody underrated him. Is this not the carpenter's son? Because there was nothing special about him. Who told you? Jesus did not fly on air when he was small. It's a lie. He went to the toilet. He ate normal food. But the Bible says, How God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. The one day he went to the wedding and there was no longer wine. He turned water to wine. They knew this was not a normal man. 
one day they were passing and somebody was blind he opened his eye he said no this cannot be the son of the carpenter one day they were passing and somebody was crippled he healed the cripple he said this cannot be a normal man he said no man do us this thing i said god be with him the day your apple begin to make millions people know that this is not just normal business the day you just sell a baller and a baller can bring you millions they know that there's a spirit involved the day your small shop can build five-story building they know a spirit is involved how god can help you and a small business can multiply money like magic what you need is the help of god the help of god has a multiplier effect it is the help of god that can make a woman that was been, that has been burning for 15 years to give birth to four children at once when god wants to restore to a man he does that by the help the bible said when the thief that come to steal kill and destroy is caught he will restore back a sevenfold when god wants to help you if you have lost ten thousand he will give you one million that's the help of god he could not understand how god helped him when god wants to help a man he supplies his holy spirit he supplies his power i don't know about you are you willing for god to help your life your life is the way it is because it's too natural there is no holy spirit in your life there's no power in your life jesus speaking to the apostles do you realize that the apostles were men that jesus helped why he was done helping them he went back to heaven all of them went back a fishing he realized that they were not fully made by god he might have clapped for them but there is a teaching protocol that the holy ghost must have to do they believe in the father they believe in the son now it was time for them to believe in the holy spirit why they backslide and went back a fishing after he resurrected and ascended he told them to go and tarry in jerusalem until they are endued with power from on high act 2 8 say and yea shall receive power after that the holy ghost come upon you then you can be witness that's a revival a revival program is when that scripture is fulfilled that ye receive power after the holy ghost come then you can be witness one of the things we want to do this night is to cry to god for power so that we can witness as revivalists in the land. Men that God help are men that God supply his Holy Spirit and supply his power. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. He will educate you via wisdom. So when he the spirit of truth come, he will guide you into all truth. He will teach you. He will take that which is mine and give it to you. The Holy Ghost is a comforter. I will not leave you comfortless. I will send another comforter to you. Another Allah's parak letters. I have comforted you, but this spirit will come and comfort you better. The Holy Ghost is an intercessor. Say you do not know how you should pray as you ought to. But the Spirit of God helped your infirmity. With a groaning you cannot be able to utter. When the Holy Ghost comes, it's a full package, my friends. When the Holy Spirit comes, you begin to speak in tongues. Begin to blast your fire. You begin to burn for God. That is a revival. It's not just a program. Do you want the Holy Spirit? Without the Holy Spirit, you would live and die just like that. With the Holy Spirit, you will become relevant. Lastly, I don't know how God does the thing he do through my life but I know that there is the Holy Ghost in my life and there is power in my life and with the Holy Spirit and with power there is nothing I cannot do Paul said I do not come with the eloquence of speech but also with the demonstration of power 
that my preaching and my teaching is done with the enticing men of one wisdom that is why when you hear my words my words come with power and authority it pierce to your heart to your bone and to your marrow the holy ghost is the engineer of that without the holy ghost i will only educate your mind with the holy spirit the word of god will enter your spirit go to your bone marrow and collect your life the life of a being is in his blood your blood are forming your bone marrow the word of god go to the very origin of your life and edit it again if we talk only to your mind it will remain there when god help a man there is no cause that will be strong enough in his life all those costs will become costless We must come to a point where we have to allow God to help us. There are many stories of men helped by God. But you can become one. Never envy a man that God has helped. No. Rather, allow God to help you. When God is done helping a man, there is no limit to which the man can go. When God is done helping a woman, there is no limit to which a woman can go. Catherine Kuma was a woman held by God. She contains so much level of glory that no man stand close to her without going down under the power. Is that a normal woman? No. Maria Woodward Ita is a woman held by God. Everything in her life scatter, but she is sure of the help of God. Amy Sibivasin is a woman held by God. Anyone that God help, don't want resting upon the face of the earth. Anything you lay your hands to do must prosper. Can you allow God to help you? When God begin to help you, He put an anointing upon your hands, and you can pass through the gate beautiful and see a creeper and say, "See, Valo, go. I do not have, but such as I have, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk." Yesterday you see a lot of miracles happen. Is the supply of the spirit of God. These things do not happen because a man planned them. No. They happen because God helped a man. You can do the same. I don't want you to believe there is any superman in Christianity. It is a lie. This is not Nigeria movie. This is not Hollywood. There are no supermen, Batman, Spiderman. No. There are only men that God has helped. If you can allow God to help you, you too, you will look like a superman. Any of the men that God has helped, the day they neglect to acknowledge the help of God, they will fall. As high as you go, you can fall so fast. Do you know for us to destroy this building, it will be very easy. As long as we can remove these pillars. God is the pillar of any man help. The day the man does not acknowledge the pillar, he will fall as powerful as solomon was he fell he doesn't know when he began to serve all kinds of idols david is a man that god has helped you cannot kill goliath without being helped when god help you that little pen in your hand can be the tool for a revival that little pen in your hand can be the reason why a whole nation can change. God can help you and put in the house of assembly. You can just sign a contract for Umuzike community with a pen. And they will bring billions to Umuzike. But when God does not help you, when you go there, you will steal more money of the community. We need more men that God can help. Pastors, if you want God to walk through you, allow God to help you. If God did not help you, forget about the anointing. Forget about power. In the seasons and times when God is helping you, nobody may know you. Just remain there. Take advantage of that prayer. Chew the tongues very well. Chew the prayer very well. Pay your tithe of prayer. Many of you are faithful in giving tithe. You are not faithful in prayer. 
you need to give God a tithe of prayer. They can't wait with me for just at least an hour. You have 24 hours in a day. When you divide 24 hours by 10, you have 2 hours 40 minutes. Every day you must pay your tithe of 2 hours 40 minutes to the Lord. If not, you are robbing God in prayer. Many of you are faithful in everything except prayer. You must wake up at night and let the devil hear that you exist. You must wake up at night and cry to God for God to help your infirmity. Prayerlessness is pride. When you refuse to pray, it's because you feel you are self-sufficient. You don't want God to help you. No problem. You will remain the way you are. The reason why we pray is not because we want to boast. We are men that pray. No. Because we are men that know we have a lot of infirmity. We need God to help us. I was once upon a time a drunkard. I was once upon a time a womanizer. I was once upon a time a smoker. If I stop praying, I will return back to smoking. I have tried before. And I knew that I will return back to my old appetite if I stop praying. And why will I stop praying? I am holding this microphone today. And I have not died because of warfare. Simply because I'm a man that can pray. If you don't pray, the warfare in Christianity will swallow you. Somebody can stay in one small village there and get angry with you and do their hand like this and you fall and die. I heard about a lady that one day she came to the church. I saw a bishop was shouting, the power of God is free. The power of God is free. The Lord can deliver. And the lady felt well. We were just taught in the occultic that powers are real and we can orchestrate them. And she decided to release some dose of the power to the bishop. And as she released the dose of the power, the bishop fell on the stage and died. And the eight-year-old lady came out and she was crying. Say, I didn't mean to kill him. I was just trying what they taught us. But the bishop is long time gone. The devil can take life. He cannot give it. God can take and can give. She cannot be able to redeem back his life again. But the bishop was a casualty of his ignorance. Let the devil not say he will kill you tomorrow and succeed. If he succeed, it's because you don't have power with God. Say like a prince. You have had power with God. And you have prevailed. If they take your name to Shrine today, will you survive tomorrow? Please, my name is Philip Cephas. You can snap, take it to the Shrine. They can decorate it. Give them plenty. Let them put it everywhere. Let the man call my name and see what the God of Elijah can do. Hey, if I be a man of God, let fire fall. If I be a man of God, let fire fall. If I be a man of God, let fire fall. The other captain came and said, Please, man of God please can you just follow me to the king you must understand that god has to help you if not your life will be used for sacrifice there are people that the gods can never like the gods does not like me what have you done for the gods to like you you better don't do anything for them to like you because anybody that the gods like will not live long they will use them for sacrifice the gods don't like me. They don't like my face at all. I'm a bad market to them. Say this one. Mbali. This one. Mbali. <laughs> you must come to a point where the gods don't like you. If they like you, you'll be used for sacrifice. And it's a wrong thing when the gods like you and you are not a woman of prayer. Your voice will be crying, but in another world. I choose to live. I don't choose to die. Can you rise on your feet? Let's rebel against the system of darkness. Let's pray out every stupidity, every carnality of the devil over our life. Every attacker of our destiny. Every tormentor of our destiny. Let's rise up this night and begin to torment them and begin to attack them. Now is the time to pray and rebel against the devil.
you cannot live your life from one hospital to another hospital you cannot live your life at the mercy of the devil no no are you begin to pray and ask the lord oh god and rebel against the devil i choose to live i do not choose to die i will live i will not die pastor come give me the other microphone i choose to live i refuse to die this is the prayer procession ladies come to the front guys support them at the bar and you ain't forever Adonai, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the king, and you ain't forever. Oh, Adonai, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the king, you are the king, and you ain't forever. Adonai, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, you are the King, and you ain't forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, you are the King, and you ain't forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, you are the King, and you wait for the Adonai, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, you are the King, you are the King. Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, you are the King, and you may forever. Habalash Tabala Dababula Talabuboa. Help us, O God. 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 Internally, internally, I want. Know you more eternally, eternally, eternally. I want to know you more eternally, oh Lord, eternally, eternally. I want to know you more eternally, Lord. Eternally, oh eternally, oh Lord, I want to know you more eternally, eternally, eternally. I want to see you, I want to see you more eternally, eternally. Eternally, I want to know you. I want to know you more eternally. Oh, eternally, eternally. I want to know you more eternally. Eternally, eternally. I want to see you more eternally. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh, my God. Let us not be ashamed. Let us not enemy triumph over me. I told the people in Okina Guruji de Kaka. How to do all of let my enemy to triumph over me no matter what the devil does it will never he will never prosper over me as i look my face and set my gaze towards the lord oh god 